Good morning, everyone. So one of my subs told me to build them a little bar to, so they can stand on. I think it's called a roost. So I did that. I did that a few minutes ago. Now they're all investigating it. And it took them a while to figure it out. And they finally are realizing, hey, this is safe. So they're enjoying the heck out of it. It's so cool to see them all up there. So I made it out of two by four with the four inch side is the side that they're standing on. I don't know if I did that right or not, but looks like they don't mind. That's pretty neat. So the reason for this video <clears throat> is last night at about two o'clock in the morning, the dog started barking and everything else and opened up the bedroom door and my son was standing there completely disoriented didn't know what was going on totally incoherent I kind of thought that he was sleepwalking so he's had that happen before so I started walking him to his bedroom and he couldn't understand why I was walking him to his bedroom and then trying to tell him, okay, lay down on your bed. And uh, he didn't want to lay down in his bed. And then he sat down in it. And then I seen blood dripping down the side of his uh, head. So totally startless. We didn't know what was going on. And then from there, I noticed there was blood on his floor. Uh, we called the ambulance last night. So a Katie ambulance came and... Uh, transported him to the Calcam Hospital, which is the hospital that's close to us was totally booked up. They couldn't even accept any emergency patients. So they drove him to uh, Sulphur. So we get there and they, um, I couldn't go in for a little while. Uh, I, I pulled up behind the ambulance, but when I walked up, they told me I wasn't allowed inside. And they took my phone number so they could contact me later. So I went and sat in my truck for about 35 minutes. At about 2.30, they called me. And the nurse had asked if we was going to go up there. And um, I said, well, I'm already here. been here for 30 minutes. He said, really? He said, yeah, they wouldn't let me inside. So he said, no, I'm coming to get you. So, of course, you had to wear a mask. And we went into the, I went into the room with them. And he was curled up sleeping, and the doctor said that um, they're going to run a CT scan on him. And he took five stitches, no, not stitches, he took five staples to close the laceration to the side of his head. And no one knows what happened. I can't say if it was um, him waking up at, at around that time and falling, tripping on something and hitting his head or if it was a seizure because he's had a seizure about five months ago. So I'm not sure if it was that or not, but, and there was smeared blood on the floor. There was blood on a pillow that was uh, on, the, on the floor to be washed. Yeah, it was, uh, so I've been up since then. <clears throat> no sleep. Uh, we didn't get out the hospital till about six o'clock this morning. He's, uh finally back to himself so he doesn't remember anything that happened at all and um, he does remember a little bit of the ambulance ride and that's how our day's going this morning so besides that uh, this morning he woke up and he was fine and uh, was asking a lot of questions uh, what happened last night and that's about all that we can say uh, he did have an, an um, he has to go get blood work drawn already for about, it was supposed to be done this, this coming week uh, to check his levels uh, for a seizure. Um, and this just happened just before that. Strange things. But anyway, uh, he's doing well. Devin's doing fine right now. And we just got to figure out what's going on. As far as that, the little chickies are... Looking like they're starting to sit down on the on the board I put up. 
and making themselves comfortable. Yeah, that's pretty cool. These things are getting big. When I look at them here, they look so much bigger. When I put them in the little brooder, they look so much smaller. I don't know, I guess it's just deceiving because they look like they're full grown chickens almost. What do y'all got? What are y'all chasing? You got something. I gave them some bread this morning. I threw a few little pieces for a treat. Because I seen a video that Les was throwing bread, so I figured I'd come and do it. And well, they come running, they grab the bread, and they take off, and they spit it out their mouth. They're behind you, don't sit there. So now I have little pieces of bread all over that nobody wants to <laughs> snack on. Maybe it's just foreign to them right now, or they just don't like the taste of it. They're enjoying their little auto waterer. Decided to use it out here. And it's hooked up to that five gallon bucket. So it saves us to have to water it all the time. Look at these. Now they've gotten something new to do in here. I've seen some videos that people put swings up, but I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> I'm probably just scared of it. You think? It would probably not be balanced because they're, so, they're not like that. Yeah. Um, and I'm not, and I'm no carpenter, so. <laughs> what are you guys doing? What you got? Drumstick. Drumstick, what you chewing on? Uh-oh, watch out. Nugget's going to get it from you. Nugget's going to get it. Watch out. Run. It looks like they nibbling on the bread a little bit, but they just don't want to snack. They don't want to, don't look like they're wanting to eat it. See that black one right there? He pecked on the other one that's eating on the left. You seen that, Kate? Oh, Miley. What are you doing? So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm about to head out. I gotta go get some stuff at, uh, at Lowe's. Get that taken care of. And uh, back here, and then it's uh, report day. I tried to upload a video from yesterday, and it just got too late, and I wasn't finished. And then after, I was gonna finish early this morning, but things changed. So I figured I'd shoot this little video out as an update on the little chicks and Devin, what happened to him. And I hope all of you guys are well. Stay safe. Prepare for the unknown.